It was a late afternoon in 1939, just before the Second World War, when Adolf Hitler had to make a vital decision that would define Germany's future on the global stage. Hitler's personal car, a 1936 Volkswagen Polo, was due for its first MOT, meaning he couldn't drive it unless it was to the garage. However, he was low on essential supplies for the bunker. He ate the last frozen pizza the night before. Hitler had a dilemma on his hands. Does he risk breaking the law driving to Asta, or does he take the bus? Hitler assembled his cabinet immediately, seeking urgent advice. The first to speak at the meeting was Goebbels. He suggested Hitler bought temporary cover on his car, but Hitler's quote of 20 Reichsmarks meant no money left over for food. Rudolf Hess had a packet of digestive biscuits in his personal stash which he offered to Hitler to keep him over for the rest of the day. But Hitler declined, claiming he only likes hobnobs. Hermann Göring suggested a sensible option, taking the bus, and offered to give Hitler his airpods to make the ride more bearable. Hitler, suffering from an immense headache at this point, went with Göring's option in an attempt to stop the overthinking. He walked round to the bus stop and waited over 45 minutes in the blistering Berlin heat for the bus. There was nowhere to sit on the bus, meaning Hitler had to stand. To pass the time, he played Candy Crush on his phone, until he was hit with another predicament, he ran out of lives. He had to make another big decision, does he watch an ad for a free life, or does he play Clash of Clans instead? He had no time to think, since at this point the bus was overheating, and it eventually broke down. Hitler was stranded in the middle of nowhere. Next to him was a mother with a crying baby, which was affecting Hitler's train of thought. Stressed from hunger, immense heat and no more candy crush lives, he locked his shoe at the baby. This was a fatal blow, meaning Hitler had one more worry, a manslaughter charge. He couldn't take it anymore. He pulled a pistol out of his pocket, aimed it into his mouth, and shot himself there and then. He died instantly, leaving his evil clone to take on the role of Chancellor. 